Hi, and welcome to a wonderful world of music. With me this morning on Star Date, we've got Mike Peters from The Alarm, Hugh Cornwall from The Stranglers, and this week's number seven, Princess. We'll be seeing her video later. Come on, are you awake? Come on. Yeah, we're awake. Oh, say hello to all your fans out there. Hello. 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 All three of you, hello. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty more than that. We'll be talking amongst ourselves in just a jiffy. But first, without further ado, let's have a goggle at the first solo release from Hugh from The Stranglers. It's um, a lot different to what we're used to seeing, but you make up your own mind. It's called One in a Million. It's very good, and check it out. One in a million there from Hugh Cornwall, and he's right here, look. <laughs> well, just to reassure your fans, that's your new new solo project, One in a Million, but that doesn't mean the end of The Stranglers, right? Oh, God, no, no. We're, we're going back in the studio in two weeks to do a new album, which will be out next year. That's great news. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, don't worry, Stranglers fans out there. No, no, one off. One off. Yeah. But the one in, the mi one in a Million is um, a very melodic song. Is this the new direction that you're moving in? Um, well, we've always had melodic songs, it's just that sometimes they, they get, um, the accent is on them and sometimes the accent isn't. In the late 70s, the accent wasn't on um, melodic songs because that's the way the record company decides to present, you know, the band. And um, at the moment, melodic songs are getting a lot, of, um, a lot of attention, you know, over the last few years. The video, the video is great. Was it hard work trying to find um, a little girl? Who look just like and a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. That none of those girls are related, um, but it, uh, that was the director's problem. They spent a lot of time um, checking out uh, kids to see if they could. They got it had to really look like the girl had grown up from the the young kid. So is the song cool. inspired by a, a girl that you know <coughs> and watched growing up? No, it's inspired by a group of people um, that are very special, but. Um, it's, it's a very uh, intricate, involved subject, and I won't go into it now. Maybe <laughs> later on. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> now, the Stranglers were born in um, the punk era, really. How do you see those days now? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the, it, was, it was great times. Um, uh, to, have, to have been there and, re and remember it. You know, you always remember, when you look back on things, you always uh, think of the, the, good, the good points mm -hmm. um, about a period or things that happened to you. And... Um, and there are a lot of great moments then. I mean, London in 77 was, 76, 77 was a, an amazing place to be. It was, it was a really exciting place to be living and, and working. And I think everyone that was around then will say that. You know. So would you go back? Um, well, why not recreate it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about re re recreating what, the, the punk era? Yeah, the punk era. Uh, well, I had a good time. I did the first uh, yeah. session I did was on a punk single, so I won't complain. Quite well, happy. It was a special time, you know, but I don't think it can, you can go back to it. But, you know, the, the, the attitude that punk rock had was, was brilliant, you know. And, yeah. and, the, and it remains, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it still is. Yeah, here. it does remain. It's still here. Mm. But another string to your bow, which a lot of people don't know about, is your acting career, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know much about it, about <laughs> it either, actually. Um, That's not true. You've done just, quite a few things now. Yeah, but it's all, uh, you, it's like anything. You have to serve an apprenticeship and you have to... You re rehearse out of the public eye, uh, so that when you—that's the way you do rehearsals for things. So people try and get in to see rehearsals of the band when we're rehearsing, mm -hmm. and you have to say, "Look, the reason why we're rehearsing is so that when we do actually play in public, we're going to be good." So it's rather like that, you know. At the moment, I'm just learning a, a craft, really. So your solo, um, your solo single. Well, yeah. you're not going. Are you doing a solo career now? Well, it's just a matter of time. I had this song for about 18 months ago, mm -hmm. and the rest of the band didn't didn't like it. We didn't think that uh, together. We didn't think it was right for the for the band to do. Um, but I liked the song, and a lot of people liked it. So uh, I decided I must record it at some stage. Well, someone who thinks you're really fantastic is this girl here. Oh, my sister. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Can you say a quick hello and blow her a kiss? She asked you to blow her a kiss. Janet Stan. <laughs> Janet. Stan. Janet. It's Janet. Who Janet comes from? This is very embarrassing. Jeanette Stanley from Durham. Um, she wants me to wave Blow a kiss. kiss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break. <laughs> Watcher, we're back, and with me are Hugh Cornwall from The Stranglers, Mike Peters from The Alarm, and Princess who from nowhere has landed herself in the top ten. We'll be having a natter in a nat, but first let's go and have a bozo at that video. Here it is. Say I'm your number one. Say I'm your number one there from Princess, and that was shot mainly through 
the north of London, which is home territory for you, isn't it? Not even the north. There's St Paul's Cathedral in there. We've got quite a few places. All Saints Road. We went travelling. Right, Trafalgar travel. Square. Come on. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Can I just say that? <clears throat> you got involved in the music biz a long time ago, didn't you? Yes, I mean, it's not ancient. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't no. it? No. No, I've been singing for about seven years, yeah. Because um, we were talking about the punk era. You did do your first single on a punk My one. first session was with a punk band. Unfortunately, I can't remember the na their names. If they can remember, then let me know. <laughs> but the B-side was called If Pigs Could Fly. Right. And it was really, it was, it was a great fun, a real ham, ham, ham section. Yes, If Pigs Could Fly, no pun intended. No. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, sort of like, from nowhere, even though you've been working in the music business for a while, mm. this is your first solo project. Mm. Um, from nowhere, really, in the charts, number seven. I don't know, but I, nowhere. I mean, seven I don't years. Mean nowhere. I, I, mean, I, I, I shouldn't think you do. You, no, you know. no. I, I Is think it right. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't know how to say nowhere because in that period of nowhere, you're, you're fighting so hard and you're, you've yeah. got your your mind fixed on a goal, and the idea was to hit as 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 heavily as possible and as as positively as possible which we've done and I mean I'm, I'm so glad people have been asking me well uh, do you think it'll get to number one now but the, the name the, the title of the song is say I'm your number one in other words let me be the principal person in your life mm -hmm. basically so I've been trapped into thinking about whether it should get to number one or not because of the title but I mean I'm happy with that I'm happy at number seven they can keep, they want to keep me there for two years I'll be happy <laughs> <laughs> it's great. it'll be nice Sitting next to you is Mike from The Alarm. Unfortunately, you haven't got a video. No, I haven't made so one yet. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see the video. But your band is basically sort of like album and performing band. Yeah, would, you, would you like to be bigger in the single field uh, as it goes? Well, everyone likes to have hit singles, you know, uh, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have one, I don't think. You know, as long as you're, you're making good music and, and it, it's important to yourself and, you know, it means something to people, then I think that's good enough. There's, so many of the best artists don't have hit singles, like Bruce Springsteen, for instance. I mean, look how long it took him to have a hit in this country. Yeah. Yet he was still making great music for so many years, undiscovered. You said here, I got a quote here that um, you don't think getting to the top is the be all and end all of life. So, what inspires you? I mean, what makes you want to go for that goal? Well, I, I, you know, I'm sort of lucky enough to have great friends around me. You know, and that—that's the most important thing. And uh, you know, I don't want to. It is a rat race, and I got into music to avoid a rat race. You know, I used to work mm -hmm. in a computer department and things, and you know, and they sort of dictate the way that you dress and all that sort of thing, and dictate where you should go at night and who your friends should be. And uh, I got into music to get away from that for a bit of independence, and that's what it motivates me. What, what inspires you? Anything special that inspires you, Princess? There's just a. I'm, I'm obsessed with music. I just love to sing. I don't think I'd be in this business otherwise. You can't be. You have to. I think you have to love it. It's got to be almost obsessive. Well, I know with me it is. You know, it's like a cause. It's a banner. Well, Must sing. I'm sure. Otherwise, we'll go mad. <laughs> <laughs> got well, to sing. I'm going to go mad now because I'm. Um I'm filling up. Yes, it's the last star date, okay, oh. and I'm feeling a little bit weepy now. But I'll be back on Monday with our new look at Pop Spot with the latest releases from The Cure. So I'll see you then. Bye.